Welcome to a let's play of Liar Genie and Crucifix Kingdom, a game by Uta, I believe. Yes, Uta Skyscraper Project. This was translated by VG Person as well. Alright, let's give it a try. My character is apparently underclothed. Nope, can't get in here. Maybe I can find a key later? Hmm. No secret passage. I'm sure there's some kind of ultimate tier item there. Perhaps something really nice for crafting as well, but I'll never be able to get it this rate. Gah. Substrata Back Alley. One linear path down. Morte Moses, the Crucifix Kingdom. A kingdom where the dead and living mingle. With a society of corpse superiority, humans are relegated to being cattle or slaves. Not big on civil rights, huh? Withered leaf. There's writing etched into the bottom of the chest. Remember, Genie, there's no item in this world you can't equip. Yeah, you can equip any item, including healing items, so of course you won't be able to use them that way. Still, it does... It might be worth equipping if you're sure you can finish the battle without using that item, or if you already have a lot of healing items to begin with. Catalog. Statistics. Ah, oh, they do give you some... <laughs> some... Basic manual tutorial stuff. Item list. Monster list. Every item and material in the game. Status effects have depths. The higher the depth, the more severe they are. Is that supposed to be their duration? Post battle occurrences. They discourage running from battle too much, apparently. You'll lose your hit point and SP, making you less prepared for the next encounter. So yeah, either try to finish the fight, or don't start a fight to begin with. That's the key to surviving these long dungeons, I guess. I see, every time I move, they move. And I can't get past without fighting. I... Sacrifice... I don't... I think I want to use that one. I have no idea what it does either. Uh, one, I got white powder. How I, I recovered a decent amount, but still not as much as I would have liked. Anyways, this will reduce... Give me some more attack, but... Uh, nice fueling. I believe these are attributes to be used when crafting, according to the manual. Fully recovered. Remember, Genie, monsters will revive when you touch a lantern. That's good for grinding, but also means I can't just kill everything in the game and get away with it. Who's writing down all these notes, anyways? You're finally here, Genie. That'll do it. These followers of the Deathless wear that. It's a little gaudy, but it's all I could steal. 
Better than being nude, so deal. You look like you've got questions. Well, you don't gotta say a thing. I came to save you. I don't know what you came to this kingdom for, but you don't want to gotta be a toy of these corpses anymore. The cadaver queen's not around, so if we move quick, we should make it. As soon as we leave here, we'll run up and up. Hey, nothing to be afraid of. You should depend on me for situations like this. I mean, I'm your big brother, after all. Marta joined. He seems to have pretty much the same stats right now. Though he does seem to have higher base attack. Genie has higher base SP, I guess. See if that random enemy really did respawn. Yep, but there's two of us now, so there's no way he can win. Limb. What the heck? Rotten? At least it doesn't have any minuses on it. That's a relief. Oh, sorry, I have to talk to the lantern to get it to respawn. Okay, let's just go into this teleporter real quick. Morte Moses. Substrata Town, nobody's home. The heck is this place? Some random cave in the middle of nowhere. Preparing for a grand opening. Equipped consumables cannot be used as items. Never forget to guard. Guarding will also restore SP, I believe. Constant consuming is key. Save. My, my, it's rare to see humans dressed up properly. Can you understand me? I am the outcast Jijinada. A merchant who provides magic stones and abilities in exchange for corpse souls. Normally all souls must be offered up to Queen Anastasia, but I require them for my research. If you can bring me souls, I'll welcome you regardless of what your identities may be. Fellow lawbreakers must stick together, mustn't we? Hee hee hee. Can't summon anything yet. Hmm. Again, enough I can get more LP. That's the number of times I can revive a character in battle. Additional equip slots, huh? I currently have three equip slots. Yeah, it's true. The, everything beyond slot 3 is grayed out, and I can only get a max of 6, it seems. Uh, even the basic healing item costs 5 souls. Magic stone is required for crafting, and that also costs 5 stones. Rebirth Roost. Uh, I just gotta treat this like a dungeon crawler. Every time I move, they move. Humans chosen by Her Majesty await the time of rebirth in this jail. Morte Moses, the Crucifixion Kingdom. Ruler of the Eternal Cadaver Queen Anastasia, Mimi the Seventh. Those imprisoned by life become our feed. By praying to the immortal and serving as our flesh and blood, you shall have boundless love. Okay, there's a save point. Why is this teleporter broken? Is it like a shortcut to the boss or something? Oh crap. Let's see. They sit... Looks like this one follows a set path. 
it won't actively chase me, but I should fight it anyways, even though there's a lot of, um... Ha! Huh, how's that for efficiency? Okay, Genie, can you equip anything good here? Attack and defense up, but heal my score with this one. Marta, do you have any good skills? Only Genie has a skill, the Cadaver Queen's Curse, at the price of her voice. So basically, she gets a free healing spell, but at the same time, she's a silent protagonist because of it, huh? That's what it seems like. Words full above the remains. LP or life points. Even if you faint, as long as you got those left, you can still get back up with some healing. Okay. Does size matter? Maybe it's the front row, back row system. Ack. Got him. Withered leaf. She really needs more attack. Do I have any f attack boosts? Yeah, let's just give her some scra more scrap iron until I can do something. Human, no reply. This is an offering to the queen, just like you. It's fated to become a corpse soon enough. Anybody who's born here is brought up as cattle. Don't know how to speak, no power. Might be hard to go back to being human at that point. Well, it's your call. Human, no reply. Hmm. They say that who, the amount you, of humans you free or kill will determine your ending. There's a total of 20 captive humans. So I may want to get a, make a little file, a text file to keep track of them all. Killing humans gets you souls, but I can farm souls anyway, so I don't think it's I should kill them. Okay, so you can also get a sort of neutral ending for doing absolutely nothing with them. Hmm. Additionally, it says there are merchants at the end of the areas that can also be killed, which is three steps towards a free human side of the scale. Hmm. Let's just free them. It, I don't feel like killing them. But then again, it might be a mercy to kill them if they don't have no idea how to survive. Gah. It's tough, because... Uh, this is not easy. I'm... Maybe if I free them, they'll all form a revolution against the Cadaver Queen. I don't know. Hope I don't regret this. I probably should use a separate slot for that one. I should probably head this way first. The faster I move, the faster they move. Makes sense, I guess. Back. This is gonna play of materials. There's now there's a lot of them. Ah. Heard they can also poison me, so that could be bad. I need to use my attacks efficiently and not just try to have them attack the same target. Yeah, just like that. Words will above the remains. LP recovers after battle, Morte's protection takes life from the weak. Magic stone. Hey, you found something good. That's a stone you can use in synthesis. Yeah, I know a thing or two. Nothing like Hermes or Faust, though. I just messed it between work. 
But I should be able to make weapons and stuff out of junk and magic stones. Ask your big brother if you need any items, alright? Unlock the create menu. We don't have the serve menu yet. Okay, I need to look at the synthesis list. Okay, I can... Kind of... Okay, okay, so this is... I don't think I can make anything using... Consumables. Let's see. Rusted and strange. That's all I get right now. Could make an armor or I could make a weapon. Which would be better right now? The only weapon I can make is, I think. Let's see. I have a choice of rusted or strange. If I go with rusted, I'll make a. I'm going to end up with the hunting rifle. Unfortunately, that was my only magic stone. I'm gonna have to kill more things to get more souls if I want to do this. Anyway, so... This will increase his attack a lot, but Genie could use the attack more. Even if it lowers her defense a bit. Gives her a skill as well. Her SPH is 2, which means she recovers 2 after battle. That means if she uses her skill once for battle, she evens out, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, I heard this game is good, is quite difficult. Huh. Are you a new enemy or not? Nope. Okay, next room. Looks like this guy is blocking our path. Float above the remains. If you're in the back, you're safe. Usually those in front will protect you. Uh, can I change my formation at all? Does it really matter? Wait, who's, who is more defensive right now? Oh, actually, Genie is more defensive, so... Is there a downside to being in the back row? Oh, shoot, I don't think he can land a hit like this. Damn it. I might have screwed myself over. Yeah, I need to p I'm gonna have to... I think I'll just... Hmm, yeah, I gotta do this differently. My strategy there kinda sucked. Another human that I can rescue. Please kill me while I'm still human. Oh, shoot! In other words, these guys are gonna come back as enemies or something? Maybe I should have killed them after all. Damn! God, this is confusing. I don't know what the best choice is here. I can't use healing skills outside battle, huh? Okay, I might as well stick with the free humans ending, and I'll try to show both endings when I get the chance. Even though this one says, please kill me while I'm still human. So, yeah. I should... Oh, there's... Yeah, I might as well just at least try to see what's gonna happen. It's just as I thought. K killing these guys would be a mercy, huh? Well, I'm gonna go kill this monster here. 
Okay, I should be better prepared now. Anti-weak seal. Ow. Uh, finish you off. Limb. Magic stone. When standing in the back, use long range gun. If you have a sword, you lose your distance. I see. So, if I give. If I make a another. I create another hunting rifle. Which is going to cost a lot of souls just to get an extra slot, but it could be worth it. Free because I, I'm going to stay consistent. Wherever I start, I gotta finish. Okay. Ripper. Ah. Cross? Sacred Glow. This... This will res... Uh, yes, this can be cr used to create the... S the Scrap Shield. Uh, I need to find. Is there any way to increase SPH? What? She, her SPH is higher than his for some reason. Anyways, now I have to fight this enemy. There we go. How f how many more do we have to fight? He's seriously following me. Oh no. Scarecrows. Martyr. Guess it's a waste to use too many. Shimmer stone and ma- Oh, they dropped magic stone! These don't let dead look useful. Huh? While your bro's been away, he's been starting to control these guys. I guess it's kind of necromancy. Hey, don't get mad. Nobody wants to stay in this castle of corpses, right? Good to have company on a trip. We'll make the most of these bodies. Marionette skill. The marionette skill lets you summon undead to fight. Go to the serve section of the menu to specify which undead to summon. They have no LP and perish at the end of battle, so they're pretty much cannon fodder. Of course, it's still bad to allow them to die too easily, I suppose. Okay. The more of them I kill, the more ammo I get. Huh? Oh, crap. Circuit. Numbing. Can that cr that can create a stun gun? Huh. Okay. Oh, I only get to summon one of these at a, t at a time. I see. That could be an issue.
stun stomp. Since you're gonna die at the end of this, I'm just gonna have you use it. Ah. They're really fast. Those those insects, they they don't count as undead, so I can't just I can't just summon them, huh? I can't summon the same one twice either. Even the ones who come from other lands soon forget their rights as humans. Does that mean I've already I've doomed them by freeing them from their prison? It's possible. It's possible that I made a huge mistake in terms of the story. That said, I can still get a secret ending regardless of what I choose. That's strange, I can't get to this side. I'm pretty sure I didn't miss any alternate paths. Maybe I can loop back around here later. Seems I have no choice but to kill you. Ow, uh, ah! Yes, magic stone. I might as well keep these guys on. S uh, um. Free. Damn the consequences. The weapon. That weapon cuts through all foes. The problem is, it's irregular and hard to hold. What does that mean? Irregular. The. It's supposed to be the serpent sword. I don't have any materials that count as irregular, do I? Uh, wish I create next. So I have so far. What could be good? The thing is, I only get three slots right now, so yeah, I might have to do some farming. Scrap shield or hmm, strange would be good too, since it's a hit point recovery thing. Plus increases my quickness as well. I can equip the magic stone itself, huh? I really need to think about this. It'd be really nice if I could actually get that serpent sword. But where am I going to get your regular drop anyways? Oh! Maybe these guys will drop it. We'll see. Ah, that was inefficient. Oh right, magic stone and white powder. Not irregular, sadly. Serve. Skin peeled. They have Ripper by default. That's pretty good, I guess. They all have their weaknesses, too. These must be status effect weaknesses. Because I don't think there's an element system in this game. Oh shit! I did not expect that to be a boss fight. Shoot. I wish they'd make these a little more obvious as bosses. They actually met. Oh, it does have stun on it, so. Let's just keep this up somehow. Are 
you kidding me? Fortunately, he does revive with some stuff back, but uh, that was pretty bad. I so I get a snow crystal for this. Hmm. Okay, let's try. Let's check this one out. Tentacle. Ew. Is that an irregular? If it is, I could make. Yes, it is. Now I can use this to make the irregular sword, giving me unparalleled AOE ability. Of course, it does come at a pretty hefty cost, I think. Yeah, it's a 5 SP move, so it's best taught to Genie for now, I guess. But I am not going to pass up my chance. I probably shouldn't... Wait, no. I may, Maybe I should save this for later? No. I, I, don't like, I don't see any more irregulars in the future. Except for the ones that are using compound crafting. I might as well just make this one. YOLO! Seriously, that was pretty bad. Just, if it concentrates on a single character, then you're pretty much screwed, huh? Yeah, I'm, I, w I was lucky it concentrated. It, it went for the end for that for that one first. Anyways, for my serve, I should summon both just so I get more meat shields to s and spread around the damage. Otherwise, I'm setting myself up for failure. Something to the north there. Uh, I'm too wounded to fight right now. I need to go back and heal and then. Far more souls. Hold on, there was a bit. There was a section I missed here that I can fight with. That I can get to without fighting anyone. Yes, magic stone. Free. Okay, now I think it's a good time to go retreat. Oof. Okay, I'm back in this room. Let's try this out some more. Hey, did that thing respawn? No, blue ones do not respawn. We just need to go kill some more of- oh shoot! I need to keep track of which ones are which, huh? Yeah... I only get- do I really s only get one servant at a time, though? Weird. Cotton shirt. Defense plus and healing plus. Is that any good? No, it's not have any skills at all. Hmm. I really need to get more slots if I want to be able to stand up to these enemies. Damn it, he, he just had to miss. Ah. Ow. There. Well, on the bright side, by killing those guys, I got more mar uh, martyrs than I lost. So only having one ally is kind of rough.
anything else here I'm missing? Hmm. I already freed the prisoner here. There's a path north, but I want to check out the path to the south first. It could contain something important. Magic stone. Pervy book? Wait, what? Pervy rare. What the heck is this kind of attribute? It doesn't seem to apply to any level 1 equipment, so... I should probably save that for... Level 2 spirit stone. Yeah. What the heck is that? Pervy. Let's swap around. Let's try skin peeled as my primary s summon. This one is pr actually pretty tanky. Yeah, th there's not enough of them to warrant a blade dance. Can I guard? Does he recover SP immediately upon guarding? Yes, he does! That could be a trick to getting more t uh, SP after the, a battle. I heard there's a strange armor that heals wounds. Free you. Magic stone. Okay, I think that's it for that section of the room. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. What else could be waiting for me here? I've pretty much cleaned out this entire room. I'm glad these servants are, are more or less sacrificial, huh? Yeah. Um... What am I looking at here? Is this a new servant? No, they're the same, but I do need more peels. Blade dance, because there's so many of them. Holy crap. Ah, oh, so close to killing that one. There we go. And more servants for me. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of the familiar system in Nocturne Birth, except you don't have to refill your familiars. On the other hand, it's easier to restock, uh, to actually get the familiars to appear, or servants to appear in this one. <coughs> you just have to kill them once and you get to summon them at least once. Is he following me? Free. Make sure you kill that guy for me. No? Okay. Circuit. Blade dance. Rip her. That was an efficient kill. Okay. I can make a lot of stuff now, but I need more souls. I have almost enough to upgrade my slots. Magic stone. See a cracked wall? Blow it apart. Huh. I 
Need more ammo. Hey -ya. Ow. Magic stone. What the? Is that the boss? Eek, a human uprising. I'm just a perilous commoner. I'll do anything I can for you. Won't you let me go? I can't sell anything, sadly. I see, this gives me a sh shortcut back to the boss. Convenient. Please tell me this part can be bombed. Does that work? Yes, it did. Ah. Spirit Stone. Whoa, that's a that's actually a pretty high level one. I could make something really nice with this if I wanted to. Maybe this will be the key to winning the next battle by use making that bomb. Well, at least I know what the cracks in the wall look like now. But now I have to go back into the dungeon and see if there's any more. Okay. This is a really nasty boss. Problem is, I don't have enough AoE moves to spam. Yeah, I can't- I can never kill everyone before she gets to- to eat two of them, so that really sucks. I really have no defense against that at all. I think I just need to spam activators or something, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, without her- uh, without- once I- the trick is to get enough activators to outlast all of her uh, her buffs. That way, you can still win. It's tricky, but it works. There we go. How's that? Yes, that is the trick to winning. Just have that AoE thing to minimize the amount of buffs she can stack, and then try to play really defensively until her buffs wear off. That is the trick.
You're always ending up in danger, Genie. Luckily en enough, I was watching. But what if you'd been alone? Got it? Don't go places like that anymore. You gotta promise your big brother, okay? Man, but I know you're still gonna go. Sigh. Why in the world do you... Now we have Plate Free Comfort City. But do we have anything new we can buy at this alley? Maybe a NART item slot? Yes, but it costs a lot more. <sighs> oh, now they sell active errors and spirit stones. Nice. Uh, anyways, there's actually a trick to getting the ending. Apparently, all I have to do is not. Uh, all I have to do is completely skip uh, the uh, uh, all of those uh, uh, humans uh, who are imprisoned, and then uh, once I'm late in the game and before a final boss, then I can choose to kill or save all of them, or still do absolutely nothing with them. Welcome to Corpse Cradle, the Cafe of the Dead. Will you be eating with us? Currently, we're offering Wivered Leaf for takeout. Uh, does this do anything? Thank you for waiting. Please enjoy this bloody brownie and this ribcage muffin. Sure, thanks. Make yourself at home. Huh? Looks pretty tasty. What? It's fine, Genie. It's spice to think the dead eat nothing but gross stuff, you know? I mean... Guess they don't have taste buds, but if they used to be living humans, surely they, they're built to take in human food. Besides, that cute siren lady made it. Could be rotten and it'd still be good. Blood must be acquired taste, huh? Hmm. Wanna trade with me? This thing is super stiff, but it does taste muffin-esque. Hmm? Oh. Say ah, uh huh. If you look at me like that, you're gonna get embarrassed too. Well, not complaining. We await your future visits. I see, if I go here and I get a free item, I'm gonna have to do some far off screen farming. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the Corpse Eater's cannibalism, please leave a like and subscribe.